generalized measurement systems at the end of this lesson you will be able to define measurement describe the importance of measurement explain the structure of the measurement system an act or process of measuring any entity is known as measurement is measurement really important in our life come on let us explore the answer we use various electrical appliances at our home the power consumption is measured and monitored by the energy meter the kid is feeling sick what is the first thing that her mother will do she measures the body temperature using a thermometer and later takes her child to the doctor while traveling the fuel meter in her car indicates that the car is running out of fuel they reach a fuel station to fill fuel while filling fuel there is a meter to ensure that the required amount of fuel is filled in the vehicle while pumping air into the car tire there is a meter to monitor the air pressure to monitor the speed there is a speedometer in the car it is only the measurement of any variable or entity that helps us to make or break control over that entity without measurement control is not possible hence measurement is very important in our day to day life for an effective measurement of any quantity or variable we need a well organized and structured system such a system is known as measurement system let us explore how the general measurement system is operated an instrument or device used for measurement has a structured system the prime elements of a measurement system are primary sensing element variable conversion element variable manipulation element data transmission element data presentation element these elements are arranged in such a way that the primary sensing element makes contact with the entity to be measured and the data presentation element gives information to the observer about the quantity measured it is not necessary that the manipulation element must succeed the conversion element it can be placed as per the requirement let us understand better we all consume aerated drinks can we carbonate the drinks at home yes we can all we need is a co2 tank with a regulator the taste of the drink is enriched by injecting co2 into the liquid the pressure gauge is placed to monitor the pressure of the carbon dioxide here the measuring instrument is the pressure gauge how does the system work the bourdon tube acts as both the sensing and the conversion element here the entity to be measured is the pressure the bourdon tube senses the pressure the major function of the variable conversion element is to convert the output of the sensing element to another form when the pressure is sensed the closed end of the tube is slightly displaced here the pressure is converted into small displacement the mechanical linkage connecting the bourdon tube and the gearing arrangement contributes to the data transmission element the main function of the transmission element is to transfer the signal from one element to another the mechanical linkage transfers the displacement from the bourdon tube to the gearing arrangement the variable manipulation element manipulates the signal presented to it without changing the nature of the original signal the gearing mechanism contributes to the manipulation unit the gearing mechanism amplifies the small displacement so that the pointer rotates through a larger angle the display devices show the information about the measurement to the observer from the data presentation element here the pointer and the dial arrangement gives an indication of the pressure signal applied to the bourdon tube this is how the general measurement system works measuring instruments can also be used to establish the control over the input to have a control over the input we need a feedback and a reference value this is known as control stage 
if there is no discrepancy between the measured signal and the reference signal, the controller does nothing with the input. If there is a difference between the measured signal and the reference signal, the input is varied to get the desired output. Let us see in detail about the controlling function of a measuring instrument in the next module. Summary From this lesson, you have learned measurement and its importance, elements of a general measurement system and its functionalities.